Yeah, better quiet down or face a big fine. That's the choice people now face in Cocoa Beach. Fox 25's Marie Edinger breaks down a new law aimed at cracking down on noise. I'm in downtown Cocoa Beach, and this street is lined with bars blasting music, but the city of Cocoa Beach says they've got to quiet down. A new ordinance tells people how loud they can be and when, and places hefty fines in place for violators. The new ordinance says people and businesses need to quiet down by 11 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays and 9 p.m. during the week. And I just feel like they're going to hurt the local service workers because I know it's going to impact what they make. During the day, the new ordinance says you can get fined if people hear you 500 feet away. That's about a tenth of a mile. At night, the rule drops down to 100 feet. The music is so loud that I can be in my living room watching television, and uh, we have to turn the volume way up on the TV because the music is so loud. That's how bad it is. The police department says it's issued three noise ordinance violations in total. Two on April 7th and one on April 20th, each to different businesses. One of them was Area 142. The owner and his lawyer were there for Thursday night's vote. Mr. Rose has no problem complying with the ordinance. What I feel bad for is for the other businesses and the citizens of Cocoa Beach where this is going to impact their businesses and it's going to create a chilling effect to business development downtown. The fine for the old ordinance was 25 bucks. Now, first-time violators get hit with a $250 ticket. The next violation, that fee ramps up to 500 bucks, and it could go up to $1,000 after that. And just a side note, our new city attorney, all litigation is included in her fee, so go ahead, bring it on. The ordinance is effective immediately. In Cocoa Beach, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.